Hello, welcome friends, it's story time. I'm so glad to be with you guys again. And it's so been so much fun seeing some of you in the library. So that's been great. So I hope that you can have a trip to the library soon too. We love seeing you and even if you can't come inside, we can always bring out some new books for you. So hopefully we'll get to see you all again fairly soon. But I'm glad we can be together on our YouTube channel and do our story time. I have my friend, Mr. Koala here. He's excited to see you too. Hello. All right. So if you have a special friend that you want to share story time with, why don't you go get them? And I have my shaker. Do you have a shaker that you can use for story time too? See if you can find one, because we're gonna get started with our good morning song. All right, are you ready? Mr. Koala's ready, he's got his shaker too. All right, clap everybody and say hello. Clap everybody and say hello. Clap everybody and say hello. Hello everybody, we're gonna tap. I'm gonna tap my nose really gentle. Tap everybody and say hello. Tap everybody and say hello. Tap everybody and say hello. Hello everybody. And how about if we wiggle? Are you ready to wiggle? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle everybody and say hello. Wiggle everybody and say hello. Wiggle everybody and say hello. Hello everybody. And our last one is wave. Can you wave at the camera? Wave at your TV, wave at your tablet, whatever you're watching on. Wave everybody and say hello. Wave everybody and say hello. Wave everybody and say hello. Hello everybody. Yay, all right. Hmm. I wonder what our story is going to be about today. Let's see if there's any clues in our treasure chest. Hmm. sponge on the end and a wooden handle. What does that look like to you? Hmm. And next we have this little guy. Who knows what this is? Huh. It's got bristles on the end and a longer handle. Hmm, paint, it's a beautiful purple paint. Hmm, very pretty. And last but not least, we have more paints. Huh, so we've got, did you figure out by now, if you didn't already, that we've got paint brushes and paints. I think we're gonna have a paint story time. Have you ever painted before? I've painted some pictures. Have you? Do you like to paint? Do you like to use these kind of paints? The watercolor paints where you dip your brush in water and then the paint and then in the paint and then you can draw your picture and paint it. That's beautiful. Or the thicker paint, the tempera paint. I don't think I've ever used the, this kind of paint for my artwork. I think I've used more the watercolor paints for mine. What have you done before? I would love to see some of your artwork. Did you know that you can tell stories through pictures? You can imagine a story without any words. You can imagine a story just with the pictures. If you had a chance to watch Jennifer Fertosis's um, special program that she did for us where she imagined a story with her music, it was really cool. So if you haven't seen it yet, you make sure and watch that one. 
because she told the whole story just with music. No words even. It was so cool. Make sure you watch that. Well, today we're going to talk about telling stories through pictures and through painting. So let's get started. We have two stories today. Our first one is called Mouse Paint. How many mouse do you, my, <laughs> how many mice do you see? Let's count them. One, two, three mice. There they are. And what colors are they painting? Do you see? I see, what's this color? Red. What's this color? Yellow. And how about this color? Blue. I see three colors. Let's find out what they're doing. So this book is Mouse Paint and it's written and illustrated by Ellen Stoll. Walsh. Once there were three white mice on a white piece of paper. The cat couldn't even find them. You see how they blend right in with that white piece of paper? Look at the cats looking. Can't find them. One day, while the cat was asleep, the mice saw three jars of paint. One was red, one was yellow, and one was blue. They thought it was mouse paint. Silly them. They climbed right in. And then one mouse was one mouse was yellow and one mouse was blue. No more white mice. Now we have three different colors of mice. They dripped puddles of paint onto the paper. The puddles looked like fun. Oh, what do you think they're going to do with the puddles? What do you like to do with puddles? Hopefully not paint puddles. What do you like to do with puddles of water, puddles of rain? Do you like to play in them? I wonder if that's what the mice are gonna do. Yep, there he goes. The red mouse stepped into a yellow puddle and he did a little dance. Can you do a little mouse dance? In the paint puddle, he's gonna dance and dance. And look at his red feet stirred that yellow puddle until oh, what happened look he cried red feet in a yellow puddle make a new color what do they make what color they make an orange puddle so next the yellow mouse hopped into a blue puddle and his feet mixed and stirred. Can you mix and stir and dance and mix and stir and dance, mix and stir and mix until, what do you think? <gasps> Look down, said the red mouse and the blue mouse. Yellow feet in a blue puddle make, what color? They make green. Then the blue mouse jumped into a red puddle and he splashed and mixed and splashed and mixed and danced and mixed and stirred and mixed and stirred and mixed until <gasps> purple, they all shouted. Blue feet in a red puddle make purple. But the paint on their fur got all sticky and stiff. So they washed themselves down to a nice, soft white. Uh-oh. Look where they washed themselves. You know what that says? C-A-T. What does that spell? C-A-T. Cat? They washed themselves in the cat bowl. What were they thinking, those 
silly mice, but they did get nice and clean, didn't they? They got all that sticky paint off themselves. Good thing the cat didn't come, huh? And they decided to paint the paper instead. They painted one part, what color? One part red. And then they painted one part yellow and one part blue. They mixed red and yellow to paint what part? Remember red and yellow make orange. And they mixed yellow and blue to make a green part because yellow mixed with blue makes green. And blue and red to paint a purple part because red and blue makes purple. But they left some of the paper white still because of that cat. I think they're hiding. Do you see the cat? I see the cat's tail, do you? Uh-huh, and he doesn't see them. Those silly mice, they discovered primary colors. Can you say that? Primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. Those are colors that when mixed together make new colors. Red, yellow, and blue. What is your favorite color? Mrs. Russell's favorite color is green. So do you remember what colors we would need to mix to make green? It's not a primary color, so we need to have two primaries. Remember, we would mix blue and yellow together, and that would make green. What's your favorite color? Is it a primary color, red, yellow, or blue? Or would you need to mix the primaries to get it? Hmm. I have one more book, friends, and it's called, I Ain't Gonna Paint No More. That doesn't sound right, does it? That's not very good grammar. I ain't gonna paint no more. Friend, I think you need to change that title. I'm not going to paint any more would be a better way to say it, wouldn't it? That's kind of silly, but it's kind of fun to say, I ain't gonna paint no more. Can you say that with me? I ain't gonna paint no more. I think he's done quite a bit of painting, don't you? Mm-hmm. And this is written by Karen Beaumont and illustrated by David Catro. And yeah. Oh my, I think he's doing lots and lots of painting, don't you? Whew. And more. One day, my mama caught me painting pictures on the floor and the ceiling and the walls and the curtains and the door. And I heard my mama holler like I never did before. <gasps> oh my, yep. I think my mama would have hollered if I had done that. How about yours? That was very, very naughty to paint all over the house, wasn't it? Not a good idea, little buddy. Not good. Mama hollered, you ain't gonna paint no more. And look where she put him. Right in the backup. And his little dog, too. Because he probably painted his dog, too. I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. Look at Mama got all the paint off the walls and the floor and the ceiling. And look. She's putting the paint away high up in the closet so our little friend over here can't reach it. But he's looking, isn't he? Hmm. That's what I say. But there ain't no way I ain't gonna paint no more. Uh, 
Oh, he figured out a way to get all the way up there and get down the paint and the brushes. Uh, not a good idea, little buddy. So I take some red and I paint my head. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Oh, uh, what the heck? I'm gonna paint my neck. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Still, I just can't rest till I paint my... Now friends, have you been noticing that we've been hearing some rhyming words? Remember, we talked about rhymes one of the other story times. Rhyming words are words that have the same ending sound. So like red and head, heck and neck. So if we have, I just can't rest till I paint my, what word rhymes with rest that's a body part? Till I paint my nose? Does rest and nose sound the same at the end? No. Till I paint my ear? Rest and ear, no. Till I paint my chin. Rest and chin, no. How about I ain't gonna rest till I paint my chest. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. But guess there ain't no harm if I paint my, what rhymes with harm? arm. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. But I just can't stand not to paint my... What rhymes with stand? That's a body part. Hand! Look at his hand isn't painted yet, is it? I think he's gonna paint his hand. Oh, yes he did. Painted a little smiley face on it. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Then I see some black. So I paint my, what body part rhymes with black? I paint my back. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. But like an Easter egg, gonna paint my, what rhymes with egg? Leg! It does look like an Easter egg, doesn't it? Oh my goodness, check out his little buddy friend. He's wearing, in, his little dog is wearing Easter bunny ears and has his Easter basket. Still, I ain't complete till I paint my, what rhymes with complete? What body part? <gasps> Feet! Oh my goodness, our little friend is very, very dirty, isn't he? Now I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. But I'm such a nut. I'm gonna paint my, <gasps> what rhymes, what body part rhymes with nut? Uh-oh, what? Hollers, mama. Oh, y'all don't faint, cause there ain't no paint. So, I ain't gonna paint no more. Wow. I think he painted the bathtub just by getting all that paint off himself. And there's the end. I hope you don't do that at your house, cause I think your mama might holler, huh? That was pretty naughty to paint. Where do you like to paint? Do you, what do you like to paint on? Do you have paper that you paint on? Or sometimes we have special canvases that we paint on. Sometimes we have little paint books that we can paint in. It's fun to paint, but don't paint the house, okay? All right, I have a special little craft today instead of our story we have our little friend. Do you recognize him? There's all his body parts. 
So you get to, I don't know if you have paint, if you have paint at home and mom says it's okay, maybe you can paint this. Or you can color it with markers or crayons or colored pencils. So you can color him and then cut out all his body parts and make, if you notice, you have a front and a back. So you can put it on both sides of a piece of paper so that you can cut it out and you'll have a front and a back of our little friend. So thanks to New York Public Library for putting this together and letting us use it. You can print this off. Um, it will be in our YouTube description if you want to make this for yourself. That will be kind of fun. All right, friends, I hope you are doing a lot of reading. Don't forget, we do still have our summer reading club going on online. So you can sign up for Beanstack this year. And we have a few more weeks of that left. And then we also have our grab and go craft kit bags that you can come to the library and pick up either curbside if you don't wanna come in, or you can come in and get them up at the second floor desk. So if you are doing Beanstack, we have our special code that you can enter and then you earn points towards your activities badge by doing that. So I hope you had a good time listening to our stories today and it was so nice to spend some time with you and I will see you next week. And don't forget, if you're doing our Beanstack, our code READER today, R-E-A-D-E-R, -E -E READER. That's what we are.